You want to hear a crazy dating story that I had? Buckle up. So I met a guy on Hinge. This is uh, a year and a half ago. And he seemed very nice. And he was very attentive and, and complimentary and, and good. And we FaceTimed. And he didn't quite look like his pictures. But I was like, oh, maybe he would be better in real life. So this man insisted on coming to my house and picking me up. And I was like, ooh. I went against my better judgment and I let him come pick me up. Apparently he's this high profile security guard and he had a old FBI car with sirens. And he comes down my long driveway of this quarter of a mile driveway that with his sirens blaring. And I had just like moved into this house. I run out and I'm like, dude, stop that. <laughs> My neighbors are all going to think that I'm some kind of drug addict. I'm getting arrested or something. He thought it was cute. Uh, but then he gets out of the car with this giant bouquet of flowers. And I'm talking about like $150 value flowers. It was nice. But when you go that big from the start, it looks like desperate, like you're love bombing. We have dinner and we're talking and... He proceeds to tell me how I am the perfect woman for him. Red flags everywhere. He's never married, no kids. And I'm like, dude, I have four kids. I was married for 20 years. There's so much about my life and experiences that you don't know about and know whether or not you can handle. So then he tells me that he brought me a gun. Yeah, because he knew I liked to shoot. So this man shows up at my house with a freaking gun. And I'm like, uh, I don't know whether or not, like, first of all, I can't accept that. That's like a $600 gun. Sec second of all, like you have a gun in your possession at my home on my property and I'm a little scared. And he awkwardly kissed me in the kitchen and it was not good. So I'm dropping hints like crazy that he should go. I don't feel good. I'm tired. I have to get up early in the morning and he does not pick up the hints. So finally, I tell him that I lie and say that I have IBS and really he needs to leave right this second. And he does. So after that, I tell him I'm not interested and he doesn't like that answer. So go to part two for the rest.